Performing an audio test, even as I speak. I'm performing an audio test. Hello, news friends. From high atop the Scrapple TV Tower in downtown Philadelphia, IA. I'm AP Taker. We're calling this news, but it's really just weather and sports. Winter is here, my friends. Winter is here. Will it ever stop snowing in Philadelphia? No, probably not. This is how we live now, frozen and scared, helplessly waiting for the White Walkers to devour us alive. <laughs> Montgomery County, an inbred little hamlet suckling on the teat of Philadelphia, is experiencing widespread power outages. More than three quarters of a million people were stranded without power or heat. There's no joke here, it just really fucking sucks. Governor Corbett, who is facing a tough re-election campaign this fall, has all but abandoned victims of the snowpocalypse. You know, Pennsylvania has been the victim here before. Try saying that three times. Snowpocalypse, snowpocalypse, snowpocalypse. Fun. The embattled politician is asking for patience as service repairs are made. Meanwhile, those stuck in ICPA are encouraged to huddle for warmth and cannibalize the young, like their Hessian ancestors who settled the land 200 years ago. We have gone back and we, in the past, go back and look at some of our spending. We, we, we've tried to live within our means and meet needs. We're not going to meet everybody's needs. From one frozen tundra to another, we turn our attention to Sochi and the 75th Annual Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Unless, of course, you're gay. <sighs> Russian hates gays. Hates gays. Because everything about the Winter Olympics is super duper straight, and we don't need any Nancys messing up our manly sports thingy. Maybe less gay bashing and more village building is in order. I don't want to beat a dead communist here, but these games are so behind schedule they haven't even finished building Bob Costas yet. <laughs> Despite cutting corners, these Olympics cost more than all the other Winter Olympics combined. Does that include the original Winter Games in BC, Greece? <laughs> Must have cost a lot of drachmas to import fake snow across the ancient Mediterranean. <laughs> and what's up with those bathrooms, anyway? Is that an Olympic event I don't know about? Synchronized shitting? Two-man poop sled? Pairs figure scatting? <laughs> oh, I could do this all day. That's fun. <laughs> Apparently, the weird hotels aren't as strange as the people staying there. Olympic officials have surveillance videos of hotel guests turning on their showers and running the water all day. How do the Russians know this? They're spying on our naked reporters? So, be warned, Western media. Publish whatever you like, but know that Mother Russia has footage of you rubbing one out on the topless pictures of Putin that's in every Sochi hotel room. And she's not afraid to use it. Well, it's better than 06. You couldn't get naked at all in Salt Lake. Is this a great show or what? Everyone had to wear that Mormon underwear thing. Try snowboarding with all that fabric bunched in your crack. <laughs> If you're looking to wash the foul taste of defeat from your mouth, consider cleansing your palate with some hard cider. From the Philadelphia Brewing Company, this teeth-cracking cold beverage is sure to erase any memories of failure and loss that keep you awake at night. Delicious. Well, that's all for Scrapple News. I remain your faithful news hound AP ticker, as uninformed as the informants who informed me. 
Right now, as you know, when, when we talk about health, uh, public health and, and uh, welfare, 38.9% of a $27.6 billion budget goes directly to those items. It's a lot of money, but arguably not enough. Well, arguably there's not enough for everything that we have, but we have to live within the means that we have. 